What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In this video, I'll be unboxing and giving you the first impressions of my Glock 17 Gen 5. Here is the Glock 17 Gen 5. Beautiful as ever in the classic Glock box. All the stuff on here that you need to know about, you know, what it is, what model, got the barcode, serial number, all that good stuff. So let's get into this unboxing. And there it is, that's what you get. I don't have all the magazines in here just because I have them in my you know, gear bag, but you get the Glock 17, you get some beaver tails for uh, the back straps of your handle, uh, get some magazines, got this little loader, got a lock, that's an extra bullet. Just to show you guys, before anyone comes at me uh, in the comments, we are unloaded, nothing in there, we're good to go. So obviously there's the Glock. I uh, got this little tool that goes in the barrel, little cleaning tool. Just put that in there, screw it in, and you're good to go. You can clean your Glock. Got a manual in here as well, and then some safety precaution stickers up there. So there it is. This is the Glock 17 Gen 5. It has been my go-to, my go-to gun for the last, I would say, year or so. And this is the gun that I will be issued uh, in the police academy. Actually, about less than a week, I will be issued this gun as I'm going into law enforcement. And so they're gonna give us this Glock 17 Gen 5, same model. To be quite honest with you, I truly love this gun for so many reasons, but I'll give you just a few. So let's just start off with the overall dimensions of this firearm. The overall length is about 7.95 inches. The slide length is 7.32 inches, the width is 1.34, and the slide width is one inch. The height, including the magazine, is 5.47 inches. The barrel length is 4.49 inches, and the mag capacity is a standard 17 plus one in the chamber. So you have a system safe action trigger, and it holds nine by 19 millimeter caliber uh, ammo. The weight with an empty magazine is 24.97 ounces and the weight with a loaded magazine is 33.33 ounces. And that my friends is the Glock 17 Gen 5. Now my first impressions out of the box. At first it's daunting for new users, for new people getting into this field. The more that you work with your weapon, you go out and just put in reps at the range and the more that you use your firearm, the more comfortable you become with it. You become one, right? And it easily, easily comes out of the holster. You put in the reps, you know where that trigger is. It almost becomes second nature to you, right? As someone who looking for a first weapon and I knew that I wanted to get into law enforcement, the Glock 17 Gen 5 was just perfect because I knew we potentially would be issued these weapons and you know, we are. And so because it's a Glock 17, you have a longer barrel length, a longer slide, which means a very, very mitigated uh, recoil. Now, I know a lot of guys uh, love the EDC, right? The little guns, but with those little EDC guns, you get a lot of recoil because of the cut uh, slide and barrel length. But because of the 17 being a little bit longer, your, your recoil is now mitigated. Instead of shooting and then coming back down and having to zero and having a little bit more time, you now have that recoil, you can come back down and zero in just properly and very precisely. And so for those reasons, I love the Glock 17 Gen 5. It's a great weapon. Uh, if you're just starting out into weapons, I would highly consider something like this, just because if you move uh, from like a smaller weapon to like a Glock 17, you might not realize how much of a recoil, how much more power that weapon might have. And so I would say start off with something like the 17, get used to it, shoot, get precise, get proficient, and then kind of move on to different uh, size Glocks or different platforms. That might not be the most traditional thing, but for me, that's what worked. I can now go and pick up a Glock 19, a 43X, or I can go pick up a, just a 19 Gen 5 and shoot very, very well and precisely because I know how to handle a big weapon like the Glock 17 Gen 5. I know how to mitigate that recoil. I know how to really control the Glock 17, which makes me able to control these other weapons that Glock has to offer. Have I had any malfunctions of this gun? Uh, I probably have shot over 5,000 uh, rounds on this specific weapon 
and I think I've had maybe two, maybe three malfunctions. And basically, the bullet will get stuck here and won't actually eject properly. And so honestly, it's not that bad. Now, uh, three rounds, three malfunctions out of 5,000 rounds, yeah, that's reliable. I'll take that any day. Okay, now let's get into the trigger pull really quick. Side note, this Glock 17 Gen 5 does not have a safety. The only safety it has is this little guy right here. That little, that little nub right there, do you see that? That is the only safety this weapon has. So if I'm, if I'm pulling the trigger here, it's not going to actuate, it's not gonna fire. But if I go and hit the nub and then do it, it's gonna actuate and fire, right? So here is the trigger pull. I believe it's 26N is what Glock says. So there's the nub, I hit the safety, there's my wall right there. The wall is just how long it takes to get back to that actuating point. I'm there and then I actuate and fire. Now, while I'm still holding it, I'm going to cock. And now here is the click. And then we're gonna go back to the wall. So, that is the trigger pull and the wall. I would say my time on the range with the Glock 17 Gen 5, as far as reloading, uh, ejection port, uh, as far as magazines uh, going in and out, just shooting overall handling of this weapon, it's just, it's perfection. Glock is correct when they say Glock is perfection. Glock perfection. So there it is guys, the Glock 17 Gen 5. So that is my overall impressions slash unboxing over the last year or so. One last thing if I could, a lot of people love to just, just to hate on the Glock sights. To be honest, I'm pretty rough with my gear and the sights have been just, they've been incredible. Like they've been on, nothing has fallen apart, nothing has broken, at least not yet, because that's what people would say. In and out of the holster, just fine. And I'm, again, I'm pretty rough uh, with my gear and uh, they're pretty lined up and there's really nothing that I, that I would think that is bad with those sights. Honestly, I think that's just a lame excuse for not wanting to train naturally with what the weapon has to offer just as a natural feel. So you say the sights are bad, go train some more. That's what I would say. So as far as my holster, I typically carry when I'm on the range a level one retention holster just to practice, you know, uh, and then I'll do the level two, level three. But this is a um, Safari Land holster, uh, level one retention. I don't know what specific model this holster is, but I will leave it down in the description below of this video. And this fits the Glock 17 and the 22. I also know that it fits the Glock 19X, which obviously has the 19 barrel and a 17 handle. So the more you know. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, small unboxing and first impressions, almost a review video of the Glock 17 Gen 5. Please let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next what weapons I should review next, and I'll be happy to hopefully do them in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.